NFL Championship Soccer. This is Portland, Oregon, the city of the roses, and site of Soccer Bowl 77. For this afternoon, a capacity crowd of 35,000 is on hand to see a game that the experts are calling the most dramatic, emotion-filled championship in North American Soccer League history. Good afternoon, everyone. John Miller at Civic Stadium in Portland. Today, the Seattle Sounders, the Cinderella Ball Club, the club that wasn't supposed to be here, Five wins in a row, meeting the Cosmos, the star-studded Cosmos. They are supposed to be here. Not only are they looking for that championship, it's the final game that ever will mean something for Palais, the only championship he has never won, and they all want to win it for him today here at Civic Stadium. Both clubs had to win games early this week, Wednesday before more than 73,000 rain-soaked fans. The Cosmos defeated Rochester 4-1, the game-winning goal coming in the first half. Steve Hunt made a great run, the pass to Kinalia, goal. Then Pelé, his 1277th goal, it was a beauty. Dmitrievich set it up, and then it was all Pelé. Cosmos 4-1 over Rochester. In Seattle, meanwhile, on Thursday, 56,000 plus, and the Sounders got an early goal set up by Jimmy Robertson. The ball skims off the head of Jockey Scott. Goal and a victory for the Sounders, so there you have it. The great defensive club, the great offensive club, and Pelé's final game, looking for that final championship. We'll be back to meet our special guest analysts for the ball game today, and we continue in a moment. Our guest analyst today for the ball game, Soccer Ball 77, the noted author, journalist, Paul Gardner. Again with us, and Paul, we saw these two clubs earlier, and what do you expect today? Not quite the same thing, I think, as we saw earlier. That was a game on Seattle's home field. Uh, they were able to come out with a terrific boost and backing from that enormous noise they make in the kingdom there, play very, very fast soccer for the first 20 minutes, and literally run the Cosmos off their feet. That was a Cosmos team in transition. They had a new coach, his first game that game. They've settled down more now. I think Seattle will not come out and play quite so quickly as they did in that game. In short, caution, a little bit of tension, a little bit of nerves, two teams feeling each other out for the first 20 minutes. After that, I think the game will open up. All right, Paul will be with us throughout. Also with us today, the coach of the U.S. World Cup and Olympic teams, Walt Chiswitz. And Walt will be down on the field during the telecast. Let's go down to Walt right now and see if he has any last-minute information. Thank you, John. It's a pleasure to be here, and it looks like it's madness around this field. The Seattle Sounders have arrived with 12,000 fans supporting their uh, club, and Jimmy Gabriel says they're ready. Everybody's ready. He's picked the best 11. Jimmy McAllister, the Rookie of the Year, he said he wants to challenge everybody. Eddie Fermani, the coach of the Cosmos, has fielded his best 11. Question marks of Bobby Smith, he will play. Werner Roth will also play. So all these players are ready, they're psyched, they're ready to go. John, take over. Well, they're going wild, and we'll be back with the opening kickoff from Portland in just a moment. What?
They're playing for the championship of North America today, but for Pele, number 10, as he greets the crowd moments ago, this is the only championship he has never won, and it is his last chance, the last time that the Black Pearl, the most fabled athlete in the history of sports, perhaps the most loved athlete in the history of sports throughout the world, the last chance for Pele today as he plays for the money one more time, the last time. John Miller, Paul Gardner, we're ready to go. The Seattle Sounders, five consecutive victories in the playoffs. The champions of the Pacific Conference, the Cinderella team, they weren't supposed to win it, against the Cosmos in the green, the dark jerseys. The Cosmos trying to win it for Pelé and Paul as we begin the ball game. An effect for the Cosmos trying to win it for Pelé, it's got to mean something. It certainly has, and although Pelé apparently has said that none of the players have specifically mentioned this to him, or only one, I'm sure they all feel this very, very deeply indeed. In fact, I think everybody here does, even the Seattle fans. The rookie of the year, McAllister, beating a man, feeding to Buttle inside. Buttle centering ball for Tommy Orr, number 18, was cleared by Werner Roth of the Cosmos. Cosmos on the back line from left to right. Moraes, the left fullback in the middle. Carlos Alberto and Werner Ross as a foul is called here on number 17, Dave Gillett. And Giorgio Canalia getting a little bit upset. That's Dave and Gillett following Canalia right out to the sideline. He'll, he'll be following him all over the place. Bobby Smith completing that defensive line and Shep Messing in goal. At midfield, Terry Garbett, number eight. Franz Beckenbauer, the most valuable player in the league. Tony Field right, Canalia Pelé in the middle. And Stevie Hudd has had a fabulous playoff series on the left side. Sounders, Tony Chersky in goal. It's Machen, Gillett, England, McAllister. McAllister, the rookie of the year. Machen and England are all leagues. Jockey Scott, Adrian Webster, Steve Buttle, Jimmy Robinson. As the first shot of the ball game goes high and wide. And a goal kick for the Cosmos. As you get a look right there at Mel Machen. All league, fullback, veteran player. One of the keys, the keys to this Seattle ball club, basically the back line. England, Gillett, Machen, even the rookie McAllister, all solid pros. Machen had a marvelous game in the semi-final on Thursday night. A marvelous first half. The second half when uh, Seattle quietened down a bit, he wasn't so prominent. He's a very good player. Here he is again. This is Stevie Hutt at midfield. He's tied the playoff record for most assists in a career in the playoffs, and he's done it all this year. The Cosmos have scored 20 goals. They not only have won five straight games, they have clobbered some teams along the way and also knocked off Fort Lauderdale, the first place finishers in the East and the team with the best record in the league. The Cosmos showed their power before the biggest crowd in North American history when they beat Fort Lauderdale, the club with the best defensive record, and they beat them 8-3. to three. This is Steve Hunt, number 11. Beats the ball in the middle to Tony Field, number 7, back to Beckenbauer, number 6. The Cosmos will set it up. That's the kind of a team they are. They'll play with patience. And make the sure pass. Played by Mike England, number five. Beckenbauer takes it. Jockey Scott misses on the tackle, but Beckenbauer on the artificial turf loses. Robertson quickly gets it in. Here comes Jockey Scott. He's got Mickey Cave in front, their leading score. He goes to the cave. He's alone. The header. Right of the goal. Very difficult to believe that Cave wasn't offside on that. Bobby Smith fell down, leaving Cave wide open. But it was my clear impression he was offside before the pass was made. No call, however. That's a man to watch out for as you see the overall history between the two ball clubs. The Cosmos have never beaten Seattle out of New York. Mickey Cave, number 12, sixth leading scorer in the league with 12 goals and six assists. And he had five game winning goals for Seattle, which was the leading figure. There was an intentional handball there, and no yellow card, which is supposed to be the ruling on that, but he's let it go. I guess in this situation, championship game, early in the game, let one of those go. Here come the Cosmos. This is Bobby Smith. He's been injured for a couple of games, but he says if he had to come out in a wheelchair, he'd be in today. Cosmos throw in. Mike England again. Watch for him, the defensive line. Great player, number five. They call we, had, foul. we had two throw players. Throw in. We had two players on Pelé there. Buttle and England were both after him. This is Tony Field, picked up by number three, McAllister. Field tries to beat him. McAllister takes it right away and bounces it off the foot of Tony Field. Nicely done. I think that's always going to be popular. He's so popular with the fans this young kid. And he's really a very personable little kid. And he's, he's done a great job this season at left back. Here comes Pelé. Beats the ball to Stevie Hunt. He's dangerous. Fires a shot. First deal. Covers up. But Pelé following it in. Da dangerous shot from Hunt. Bouncing right in front of the goalkeeper. There's the pass. Coming through to Pelé. Pelé will push it first time. No messing about. Out to Hunt. 
Hunt turning round, shotting on the corner, and it's dropping, as you can see, dropping right in front of Chersky. Difficult shot to handle. Well taken Chersky by Chersky. Has his sure a pair of hands, as you'll see in a goalkeeper. He rarely gives a rebound. Chersky from Simon Fraser University, and a key man in that Canadian uh, World Cup team that's on its way. Here comes Tony Field again, McAllister. That'll be quite a duel. The veteran inside it goes. The Garbity can't catch up to it. Close thing there from Seattle and good move. Uh, Field getting a ball around McAllister. Garbage just overrunning it. Well, we've got that lightning pace again. End-to-end -end action just like we saw the last time these two clubs met. Here comes Buttle, number 15. Off on the left side. This is Cade for Tommy Orr just over his head. And we have a break in the action from Portland. This is NASL Championship Soccer. Seattle on the attack as you look at the captain of the world champions of 1970, Carlos Alberto. Seattle on the attack. Here comes Mickey Cave into the penalty area. Cleared out, comes down to battle number 15, and Hunt is there to clear it. Now McAllister starts it in. Again, we, Paul, we have that lightning pace to start the game. Yeah, we've certainly started off very quickly here, and I don't know whether both teams can keep this up. Seattle now, this is Jackie Scott. Look out and hit the crossbar! Goal! Uh, it's been disallowed. Oh, I think sorry. we have an offside call on that. No goal, offside is called. Offside has been made the call. Offside on two Seattle players as the shot came in. Of course, the Cosmos are very lucky that the original shot didn't go in. Chuck Messing did some incredible things there. There's Machen. Headed out by Marais. There's the volley. Chef going the wrong way, just gets his hand onto it, scoops it up on the bar, and he comes down outside the line. Well, the Cosmos get the first break of the ball game, and here they come now, trying to score the first goal. This is Garbett number eight for Franz Beckenbauer. He's been there as well. Now Garbett. Kinalia. Kinalia has been unbelievable in the playoffs. Eight goals in five games. Garbett with Buttle. Reverse move. He'll take it out. Again, the Cosmos will be patient to try to make the good pass. All the way back to the point, this is Bobby Smith, and they'll work it in. I think one, the Cosmos are going to run into problems unless they tighten up in the middle back there. That, that's the third time I've seen a Seattle player wide open in the penalty area. Now here's Filet to Carlos Alberto. Moraes on the left. Machen on him. In front he goes, nobody there. McAllister chips it high. Field after it. Now Moraes over the hit line. Last touch by Mel Machen in Seattle. So the Cosmos, the offensive club in this situation with a corner kick. The atmosphere here is unbelievable. The swelling roar at this supposedly neutral site for the Sounders is deafening. Tony Field on the corner kick. Palais, Kinalia, and Bobby Smith in the penalty area. Low line drive, Palais heads it off to Smith! And they call a foul on Palais. Pushing foul on Palais there. Smith having a fit because he didn't get his head properly on the ball, but it wouldn't have counted even if it had gone in. So a free kick for the Sounders, Palais. He won everything in 58, in 62, in 70. He's got, in every respect, the most incredible records. And yet, Paul, still this game has extra special meaning for the Black Pearl. I think it has a great deal of meaning for him. And I think you saw when we introduced him, the shot of him waving to the crowd. There wasn't that usual beaming smile on his face. He did look quite, uh, quite serious about this. And I think it is, it's a big occasion for him, and he feels it. A lot of things going through his mind today. The, the crowd soon are not going to be cheering anymore. The magic that was once there is waning. And, you know, I think the thing that makes it sad to see him leave is not only the great talent, it's the fact that the kind of a man that he is. 
Seattle now on the attack. Dangerous area here. Mickey Cave will make the running throw in. He goes in front for Mike England. Messing spikes it down with Alberto there. Comes to McAllister. Back to Mickey Cave. Here comes the cross. It's over the head of Scott. Cleared by Beckenbauer. who's back in that penalty hour er, area. And now England drops it off to Machen. The Sounders coming right out. Usually, as Paul mentioned at the outset, in a playoff championship, they'll feel each other out a bit more. Machen's cross is deflected by Beckenbauer. Corner kick Seattle. It's a good example of how dangerous Machen is there. That, that's a fullback, remember, dribbling into the area with the sort of skill you usually associate with a winger. Here's Robertson quickly. Here's the header by England. Pops straight up and cleared by Bobby Smith. This time he gets it to a teammate. Cosmo started up. Here comes Garbutt. The... I guess no name midfielder in a team of superstars, but a solid, hustling, gutsy player. Look out, here comes Pelé. One on one with England. England wins it, but here comes Hunt. He's looking for the shot. He winds, he fires. He cuts over the bar. From Portland, this is NASL Championship Soccer. Back to action. Cosmos with a free kick. The ball set up 22 yards for the goal line. And there's Pelé. He scored three against Gordon Banks on similar plays. Very close thing for Here Steve comes Bumble. a shot to play by inches. How many of the 1,277 that he scored do you think he scored on plays like that? Got to well, be quite, quite a few. He's an expert on free kicks. Indeed, most Brazilians are. That ball is only about a foot wide. And in fact, Chersky was going to his left. Not to his right where the ball went. This is Dave Gillard to take the goal kick for the Seattle Sounders. No score in the match, but we've had a lot of chances both ways up to now. In the first half, we have played 12 minutes and 15, and here come the Cosmos for the ball is Kinalia. Kinalia, you watch him and you watch him and you say he's not doing much, and then you find out at the end of the game he scored twice. That's like the old joke, oh, oh he doesn't score goals. So that's something <laughs> that really doesn't matter. Of course, it's the key to the whole game. Here's Tony Field on the right side. They provide the double team over the end line and the linesman says give it to the Sounders. Toros Cabriccia on the referee, the linesman Bob Morgan from Los Angeles and John Davies from San Mateo, California. Jockey Scott cross field, formation open to the right side. They'll have to catch up to it and Carlos Alberto picks him up. Chip into the box and Messing will grab it as Mickey Cave comes in. Quickly Shep will start the attack to Pelé, to Quinalia. Back to Pelé. Behind him, he'll go back and get it, and then loses it. As Canalia with the bad return that time. And a throw-in for the Sounders. But Canalia, we mentioned it last week in Rochester, didn't have the greatest year, but in the playoffs, he certainly made up for that eight goals in five I think, games. I think that bad return was, uh, was from Pelé. I hesitate to mention it, but I don't want you to criticize Canalia for something Pelé did. <laughs> All right, here come the Sounders. Nicely played to Robertson. He's got room. In front of the net, goes right across. He had Cave there. And they say... I think touched by a Cosmos player. Well, the linesman disagrees. The Sounders were motioning that the Cosmos had touched it, but the linesman didn't see it if they did. So the Cosmos get it. See, Sounders like a full-court press in basketball here. Always trying to double-team the man with the ball. They're all over the place. It's noticeable that the Cosmos, I think, are being successful in slowing this down. You notice when the Cosmos get the ball, the pace does slow down about 20%. Nicely moved by Pelé to Kinalia. Now to Stevie Hunt. Pelé making a race to the goal. The pass for Pelé, too high. Cleared out, but Tony Field will keep it in. He's got an opening. He goes around a man, trips and falls. Unintentional. They say no foul. Counter attack. Now Jimmy Robertson, the speedy winger, he's all over this field. The cross, it's deflected right out in front of the net. Comes down in front for Tommy Ord. And again, the Cosmos get the lucky break. They got a break on that, a prodigious effort by Messing to get to that. As Jimmy Robertson puts the cross over, this is it hits Smith, it's deflected. And again, Messing going the wrong way, has to lean back, and he just manages to calm the ball out. Luckily for him, wide of Tommy Ord. The crowd is on its feet. They're clapping for the Sounders. They want a goal. Jimmy Robertson to set it up. He's got Cave right in front. Gillard and England are down. Here's Jackie Scott headed away by Moraes. Saved in by Robertson. Robertson's the cross again for Mickey Cave. A poor clear by Smith. And Mel Mason after a dangerous kick. That was the call. Dangerous kick. Although Belay seemed to lean down into it. Cunningly gained free kick, I think. So the Cosmos get the ball. 
And Pillay not only got the foul to Seattle, he took the pressure well, off. That's an interesting point because uh, although it may seem silly, well, now I do have time to explain it. If a player leans his head down and gets kicked in the head, the foul can be called against him because it should be a kicking ball and not a head ball. Nelson Marais, number 14, the fullback, feeds to Franz Beckenbauer. He's got room. He's got Kinalia in front. Pelé in the left, field in the right. He aims for field. Now Tony against McAllister. Back to Beckenbauer. Look out for Buttle, but Franz sidesteps him. Lateral move. Mike England. Another man with great World Cup experience, but field with good hustle. Did McAllister touch it or did field touch it? I think there may be a tripping foul there. Yes, three kicks to the Cosmos. Free kick. No, Wait not a, a free kick. They say nothing. From Portland, this is NASL Championship Soccer. As we return, free kick for the Cosmos and a foul by Tommy Ord, who also got a yellow caution card. Here's the ball into the box for Kinalia just over his head. Well, Giorgio, Long John, whatever you call him, a great goal scorer, and that's what he's there for, putting the ball away. Not only did he score a lot of goals in the playoffs, he scored some very, very big goals for the Cosmos. Perhaps the biggest was the goal at Fort Lauderdale against the team with the best record in the regular season. And it looked like the Cosmos were going to lose it and have to go to the third game, the mini game, and Kinalia tied one up and just plainly beat Gordon Banks with tremendous effort. So he knows how to do it. Stevie Hunt. Comment from coaches around the league that I hear Paul about Hunt is every time we see him, he gets better and better and better. He certainly come on enormously during the season. Well, that was an acrobatic header from Morris, if you like, falling backwards. Didn't quite work. Here comes Scott. Back door, the header is just flying! Tommy Orr with a header, and again, they missed by inches, and listen to this foul! A clear chance for Seattle here. The second one they've had, of course. There's the cross. Ford is way up above Roth there. He gets his head on. You can see him gesticulating to himself. He was only about a foot wide with that header. Well, Shep has been beaten, uh, what, two or three times now without having to really give up a goal yet. So somebody, the ice is going to break here pretty soon. You have the feeling. After 18 minutes and a half, no score yet. But the Cosmos as well. Well, they dispute it, but they give it to Seattle. Sanders now make a bad throw in. Mickey Cave threw it away. The Cosmos get it back. Kinalia coming back to midfield, and England comes right with him. That's quite a duel. Look out. Here's the run. Hunt with Machen. Hunt. Can't beat Tony Kirsty. Very quickly off his line, sir. Of course, he had to be. Everybody knows by now that, that Hunt has to Look out. Speed. Look out. A shot score. No goal. Is it? It is. A goal. A goal for the Cosmos. And Stevie Hunt has done it. Oh, do you think he's happy, John? He knocked it out of his hand. Here's the look. Oh, we're coming into it a bit late there, but the ball, apparently, the referee judged that, that was a free ball. Hunt was allowed to play it. Here's another look at it. The Let's entire this, play. This long pass. This Hunt races for Brent. Gets down, saves the ball very well. Chersky, I just know. He's looking around what to do with it. Hunt running back. From well, Portland, this is NASL Championship Soccer. The crowd is stunned here in Portland, the Cosmos. On one of the strangest looking goals you'll ever see, Stevie Hunt with a good hustle. And we're still not quite sure exactly how he did it or how they can allow it. Because it was the kind of a play, it's almost a dead ball situation. Well, we're going to get another look at that uh uh, John, I didn't notice too many protests from Seattle, which, A, may be a sign they're on their best behavior for the final, or it may be a sign that uh, they didn't feel they had to protest. Hunt's fourth goal to the playoffs. He's assisted on six others. So the Cosmos lead, one nothing. Sounders now have to play catch-up. Ball stolen by Beckenbauer. Crowd roaring because Beckenbauer handled that ball. The referee let it go. Now Nelson Marais going for Stevie Hunt. He's the hero right now. Trying to beat Adrian Webster, but Webster gives him the corner kick. And again, we see the, the determination and the hustle of Stevie Hunt playing with a lot of heart and desire. Yeah, he won a corner on that. Here's a corner kick now. The Cosmos trying to score there, again. There, this is the goal. There is Chesky rolling ball. He's dribbling the ball. Hunt plays it away from his feet. That is a loose ball. Back to live action. Here's a shot by Garbage just over the bar. Well, I think um, looking at it there, one must agree with the referee. 
Chersky had the ball on the ground, he was dribbling it, he wasn't paying attention to Hunt behind him, and Hunt just took it away from him as though he were an ordinary player. Just a medal lapsed by Tony Chersky. Great so. All right, that ball was deflected by the Sounders, so a corner kick. Tony Field on the right wing. The Cosmos from a dead ball situation. Try to score the second goal. In the middle, Chersky grabs it. Canalia behind him, so in front of him. So the Sounders, well, they're down by one, but they've got some men who know how to score. Tommy Ord, who scored eight in his last eight games. Along with Mickey Cave, Robertson, Jockey Scott. Here comes Robertson, room to run. He's got Scott and Cave in front. He's got to beat Alberto, though. Tries to, but can't do it. Beautifully played by Carlos Alberto. Forced him outside, and then as Robertson tried to cross, stuck up his foot, and it rebounded all the way up to his throwing. Carlos Alberto never seems to commit himself. Here's the ball inside for Scott over his head. Smith players throw in Seattle. That's the art of playing deep there that you don't commit yourself to the final. That's a nice possible moment. Well, the way Alberto plays back there, it is surely an art. Played away by Stevie Hunt to Carlos Alberto. Alberto, the cap. Uh oh, bad pass. Oh, we're Steve praising him. He probably makes a mistake. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep quiet about it. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Cave inside was bumped from behind. No foul. The ball goes to Pele. Pele directing traffic. Look out, Pele. Double team. They knock him over. Although he did a pretty good dive that time, but they let it stand. Here comes Jockey Scott from Mickey Cave. Smith is there. Neither one can get it. They call the foul. Uh, on Mickey Cave. Well, the last play was to lay with no foul. We definitely saw the push from Portland. This is NASL Championship Soccer. The Seattle Sounders have tied it up. If you watch the Cosmos on the attack now, they've already kicked off. Just after we left, the Sounders tied it up. And here's a look at it. It was Mickey Cave who started it. Now watch the dazzling passing. Tommy Orr with the ball. Inside, back it goes to Orr. Shot, goal for Seattle. High score. That was one that Chuck Messing wouldn't quite get to. Uh, that one you might have expected him to save. Chuck seems to have some problems with his footing down there. Yeah. You see the slipping? Earlier? I suppose the field must be. We've had rain here. We had rain before the game. It's probably the surface is a bit slick. So Tommy Ord, we mentioned it a couple of moments ago, now has nine goals in nine games. Uh, the Sounders have tied it up. The crowd went crazy. It's 1-1. That goal coming only four minutes and eight seconds after the Cosmos goal. 20 minutes and 40 seconds left in the half. It's 1-1. Foul on garbage. I think Tommy Old will be very pleased with that goal. He used to be a Cosmos player, of course. They traded him. They didn't want him. Ord is the 15th all-time leading scorer in NASL history. So he's been doing it for a while. Robertson inside for Mickey Cave. Messing grabs. Solid contact. They call the foul. Yeah. Crashing into the goalkeeper. Messing had both his feet off the ground, man. I think every referee in the world will call that. <laughs> well, now Nelson Moraes just throws it away. A little bit of nerves there. It was an unnecessarily bad pass. Ball goes into Mel Machen. The Sounders trying to keep the pressure on. This time Moraes takes it away. Gives the ball to Stevie Hunt. In traffic. Cosmos in their own zone are always in traffic. Well, Hunt dodged about four Sounders, but couldn't dodge a fifth, but they call a foul. Free kick. Toro Scabriccian is the referee, as we mentioned earlier. The man has watched a lot of world-class international games. This is Dave Gillett clearing the ball away from Sinalia. Scott, quick counter-attacking ball from Mickey Cave. He heads it in the middle, but nobody's there. It's unusual not to see uh, Seattle players breaking. One would have expected to see somebody streaking into that space. And obviously Cave expected it, but there was nobody there. Here comes Tony Field, working against the Rookie of the Year. McAllister takes it away, and they call a foul. That's a tough well, McAllister, he's better be careful. He just kicked the ball away there. The referees do not like to see that. I, I think Cabritian is ignoring it at the moment. Back to live action. The Cosmos lose the ball in the penalty area. Now Pelé tries to get it back. He does. Here comes Hunt moving in. Looking for an opening. He's got to beat Machen. And Machen with a comeback tackle. Corner kick Cosmos. Cosmos have had quite a few corners early in the ball game. The thing that's surprising me about the Cosmos is that they keep Hunt on this side. I would have thought, given McAllister's inexperience on the left side, they would put Hunt on that side and let him work on him. Now Tony Field. He's got Kinalia, Pelé, Hunt, Roth. Smith, they're all in the penalty box. They set the play up. Here it comes. Knocked off the line by Mickey Cave. Field tries to keep it in, but Buttles right on him. 
And the Sounders come up with it. Dave is locked in in his own zone. Gives it up to Marias. But Nelson couldn't make the trap for the artificial turf. Tommy Ord acquired from Vancouver this year. And those nine goals he scored all for Seattle. Ord moving on the attack. Bumped by Ross. Still has the ball. They call the foul. This will not count. They blew the whistle. No, he blew the whistle but let him play. Did you hear a whistle? I think that might have come from the crowd. Well, I hope it did. I hope he's not blowing whistles and ignoring calls. Shay, shot taken by Mickey Cave from outside and a Cosmos goal kick. From Portland, this is NASL Championship Soccer. Fans are chanting Sounders here. Pelé's final game. 1-1 one, one tie. 16-35 left first half. John Miller, Paul Gardner, Walt Chizowitz downstairs. Cosmos in the green. They scored on a, an opportunistic goal by Stevie Hunt. And Tommy Ord scored. We never did get the official assist on that. Scott and Cave, I would su suppose. Two assists at least on that, I would think. It was a, very, it was a lovely movement by, uh, by Seattle. Seattle with the ball to midfield. But Robertson loses it. Here comes Tony Field. Got Canalia in front of him. Feeds the ball off to Pelé. Into the danger zone he comes. Pelé tries to loop it inside for Field. Moving in the right, but Seattle gets it. And here they come with a counter attack. Jackie Scott. Looking for Cave in front, wide open, he's wide open, he drives, he misses the ball! Right now, let's go down to our colleague, Walt Chisowitz, on the field. Walt? Here we are at the field with Gordon Banks, the MVP goalkeeper of the NASL, the former world-class keeper from England. Gordon, what are your feelings about this game? It seems like a fantastic pace. Both teams are going up and down. What do you think? You know what, well, it's a very, very good game. Uh, Seattle, I feel, are just on top of the moment. Uh, they're getting it wide to the wings early, and the, 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 the uh, problem for New York is they've got to watch this ball to the far post. It's been twice now that uh, Seattle nearly got goals from it. Thank you, Gordon. Well done. Talk to you later. Thanks, Walt. Here we go now. Pelé on the attack. Primes and a shot taken. Very unusual. We saw a bad mistake by Mike England, and he committed himself, went for the ball, and Pelé took it way past him and left him lying on the ground. Goal kick for the Seattle Sounders. Pelé. Pelé in 22 years has kept alive a pace of nearly a goal a game. Ball headed by Garbutt. But now McAllister tries to get it to Buttle. Buttle does save it in. The entire ball must go over the sideline. That's where the ball is. Scott can't make the trap. Alberto clears to Steve Hunt. Hunt quick pass for field. Pelé right. Okay, now you left. Looking ahead for Pelé. Back inside, Pelé's return pass. Ball, I think, is Mike England. Mike England says, no, it hit my shirt. I don't think anybody's going to agree with him on that. So again, we almost saw Pelé scoring a free kick earlier. Here we are again. This one is directly in front of the goal. These are very dangerous situations. When you can't see him on your screen, they're Chersky behind. The goalkeeper is, is placing this wall, telling him exactly where he wants him. They'll set it up 25 yards straight on. A lot of things he can do. The wall is supposed to be 10 yards, and they're about 7 right so, now. It's a conservative 10. Just inched <laughs> up to a conservative 9. Pelé and Beckenbauer sort of hovering over the ball. It's going to be Beckenbauer. It's going to be Pelé. Pelé shot right on. My word, there was a wicked curve on that ball, John. That, that ball, Pelé hit that with terrific spin. It, it sort of dips and sunk straight into Chersky's arm. Good positioning by Chersky, but a lovely kick by Pelé. All right, the Sounders with the ball, 1-1 one, one tie. We have 13 and a half minutes left in the first half. Mike England feeds it off to McAllister, you wide see, open on the left. You see McAllister's little jump before he got the ball there. He leapt into the air as though he was skipping a rope. <laughs> I don't know what that was all about, but it was very cute to watch. Very just excited to get the ball, I guess. <laughs> well, McAllister, the wave of the future in this league. Born and raised in Seattle and now as good a fullback, a young fullback as there is in the league. It's going to get a lot better. First full year. Here's Tony Field now. Bobby Smith moving in. They go for Bobby Smith in the right wing corner. He's got Canalia and Pelé in front. Now Tony Field picked up by Adrian Webster. Back outside. Again the cautious pass. The sure pass. Garbutt cross field for Nelson Moraes. Cosmos. Now the cross for Stevie Hunt. Over his head. And the Sounders get it. Out it goes to Buttle for Jockey Scott. He's got Robertson and Cave ahead. Goes for Mickey Cave. But Marais just does get back. Saves some trouble that time. 
Yeah, I'm a little bit disturbed about the spaces that are being opened up in the Cosmos defense. We're often seeing white-shirted players get in amongst them there with a lot of room around them. We have 12-15 left in the first half. 1-1 one, one tie. Hunt for the Cosmos. Ord with the equalizer four minutes later for Seattle. And here comes Seattle. Jimmy Robinson moving in a Terry Garbutt. Lost the ball. I think he wanted to make a crossover move that time, but just lost it. Now Pelay runs over the ball. Shoves Gillett. Goes ahead to Hunt. Here they come. Marquino, yeah, he was offside. Free kick for the Sounders. Jackie Scott. Well, they say Jackie Scott got the goal with the assist for Ord. Oh, he thought Ord Is that what we saw? I don't think that, that's what we saw. I, don't I think know. we saw Ord get the goal. Well, I'm I'm positive the replay showed Tommy Ord with the goal. But we're not the official scores. <laughs> Tommy Ord's going to be a bit upset. Look out, here come the Sounders. Scott inside for Gillett, the fullback, a shot right on. Jet Messing with a belt high save. Well, whoever gave us the information for the press box just misprinted it. Ford with the goal and Scott with the assist. you're reading it upside down, John. That's the trouble here. Where are my glasses? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stevie Hunt with the ball for Beckenbauer. Back to the Hunt. That's the give and go. The wall pass for Canalia. Wide open. Look out for Pelay. Pelay winds, fires, deflected by McAllister. McAllister saving the day there. Goal or corner kick for the Cosmos in the right wing. Two opportunities for the Cosmos there. When Canelli got the ball, he could have turned and shot. He didn't see the opportunity. He pushed it square to Pelay, who was also unmarked. Got off his shot, blocked by McAllister. Here comes Tony Field. Here comes the cross. Bobby Smith there. Heads it in front for Canalia. Couldn't get it to him. Comes out of the box. And England gives it right up to Beckenbauer. Now to Hunt, number 11. He'll fire one in. Deflected down by Webster. Now Marais in the corner. He's open for the cross. Machen picks him up. Here it comes in front for Canalia. And Gillard is there. Again it comes to Marais. More pressure from the Cosmos. Knocked down by Machen and it looked like a handball to us. But his back was to the referee. The referee couldn't spot it. The Sanders have it. The pressure is on. 1-1 one, one tied. Sanders will bring it up in their own zone. I tell you, already this has the markings of the greatest championship in the history of the league. Going in, it had all the earmarks of it. But the game itself, with no other factors underlying, just the game itself has been a good one. The game itself has been terrific so far, John. I, I think I better revise my opinion I gave before the game right, about the pace of this game. I mean, clearly both these teams, but particularly the Seattle again, have come out and have played at 90 miles an hour. Well, I suppose I should say, well, I, I told you, but I didn't. I thought it'd be that way, too. <laughs> no, you did tell me, John. It's quite true. I just didn't listen to you. <laughs> Here come the Cosmos. Terry Garbutt. Reverse move. He'll go inside. Into the danger zone. The Beckenbauer goes behind him. Fans, a reminder, this game's outstanding player will be selected by members of the Professional Soccer Reporters Association, and he'll receive the Copenhagen Skull Player of the Game Award, $1,500 check, just before the end of the telecast. See, Shep Messing won it last week in a vote of the uh, PSRA, and Ron Fletcher of Minnesota won it on our first telecast. Jimmy McAllister. Quite a story, Paul. I guess Gary Etherington is part of that wave that we're going to be seeing more of in the Gary next few years. Paul Hunter of the Cosmos, uh, too. Hunter, who played so well last week in Rochester in our televised game. This is Scott. Bobby Smith is there. Garbutt is there. He goes to the open man. A drive and a shot by Buttle. Goal kick for the Cosmos. From Portland, this is NASL Championship Soccer. John Miller, Paul Gardner, Walt Chizowitz. Here come the white-shirted Seattle Sounders, the favorites here in the Northwest. This is by Jimmy Robertson. Drives and a shot. He made the lateral move and aimed for the wide side of the net. He did a very good move indeed on that. It was a good shot. Well, the statistics here, I think, Paul, are indicative. 11 to 11 in shots. And I think this time they show clearly what we've seen in the ball game. Fast, into end action, a lot of pressure on both goals here. Even game so far, maybe a slight edge to Seattle, I would say. Well, the Cosmos goal was kind of a freaky thing. Well, exactly, it was opportunistic, as you say, whereas, what is Smith doing out there? Oh, he's saving the ball. I thought he was running it out. Well, Terry Garbutt. That's McAllister committing himself. That's an experience. Now Garbutt in the middle of this Stevie Hunt. They try to take advantage, but there's Mike England, the veteran. Well, the veteran makes up for the mistake of the rookies. 
You can see how quickly McAllister got back. We didn't see that there, but my goodness me, he ran back like a 100-yard sprinter to take up his position. Caswell's a bit sloppy with her passes here. Filet inside for a hunt, knocked away by Mickey Cave. And now Webster, here come the Sounders. Long one, Jimmy Robertson's got room to run, only one man back. He's got Orr coming down the middle. Robertson, centering pass, right out in front, and Messing takes it away from Ord. Oh, just watching Robertson after he made the pass, he fell over hard onto his hand, shaking his wrist as though he sprained it, but he, I think he's all right. Well, the Cosmos, a veteran ball club in Seattle with a lot of fast, speedy young players. That's the difference. Between the styles here, they'll race it down. The Cosmos will be careful as they are now. Here comes Hunt. He fires a shot, but he misses wide right over the end line. From Portland, this is NASL Championship Soccer. Cosmos on the attack. Here's Stevie Hunt in the middle for Carlos Alberto. Back for Hunt. He's got it. He fires right on. He had Canalia right behind the goalkeeper. But Chersky was there. Might not have been the best angle to take a shot from. Chersky playing the angles very well. He's extremely difficult to get a shot from the goalkeeper from that narrow angle. Here come the Sounders now with their attack. Adrian Webster, the captain for Tommy Ord. Ord picked up by Moraes. Now Jimmy Robertson coming in from behind. One-on-one -on -one with Moraes. Here comes the duel. Robertson appears to win, but helping out is Carlos Alberto. That's what the sweeper back is there for. Solidly in the way of that shot. I don't know where it hit him, but... Uh not showing any ill effects. I'm a little surprised. <laughs> Courageous play by Carlos Alberto. Tony Field with the ball. In the middle. Oh, well, they get it to Alberto. He loses it off his foot, but plays it to Stevie Hunt. Carlos Alberto again. We have 325 left in the first half. It's 1-1 from Portland, Oregon. Played away to Mel Machen by Mike England. Now McAllister's going to have to catch up to it. Now he's got the speed to do it. That was a, a very poor pass by Machen. Long one for Adrian Webster. Chest trap. Goes after it. Skirts the sideline with Tommy Ord there. Goes for Tommy Ord. But again, there's Carlos Alberto. In New York, they've been calling him Cool Carlos. Carlos Alberto with a, with a marvelous interception. A beautiful ball out to Pelé. Here comes Pelé. Canalia in front of him. Go to Canalia. Look out. He goes around England. Now to field, wide open, in front for Pelé, but cleared by Gillett. Well, Pelé was all alone, and Gillett made the save that and time. Those two centre-backs for Seattle, England and Gillett, very good in the air, very good with their heads, solid, safe, secure. Saddled up the middle on that back line, England, Gillett and Chersky. Now, here come the Cosmos again with the attack, 2.24 left in the first half. Hunt, chip, Pelé. Back heels for Hunt and a give and go. And Chersky able to grab it. A beautiful intention by Pillay, going one way and playing the ball the other, but it was a little too hard or Hunt hadn't accelerated enough to get to it. Mel Machen starts it up. The Sounders have never lost on national television with three victories. The Cosmos won their first game on national television last Sunday. We have a minute 55 left in the first half. The rains have started to fall again here. A very light drizzle. At midfield is Bobby Smith. High chip for Tony Field. McAllister with a header. And Smith again. Nicely played to Beckenbauer. Goes to Pelé. Canalia streaking out in front for the goal. Uh-oh. Back to Beckenbauer. Behind him. Robertson. Here come the Sounders. With a minute 25 left. He's got Buttle on the left side. He's got Cave in front. Goes through Pelé. But Pelé takes him out of the play. Seems to have injured his right leg while he's doing it. Too. Robertson slow in getting up. Now Carlos Alberto. Cosmos trying to take the lead before the half. On the left side for Stevie Hunt. Mel Machen on him. Machen knocks it down. With his hand. The linesman spotted it and Cabrician makes the call. No doubt about it. No question about that one. Of course, free kick for the cause is not in a dangerous situation, but of course it'll be pumped rather quickly into the middle. There it goes. His field, he's got Canalia on top, but he goes for a hunt. He drives, a fires a shot, and a save! Canalia can't get the rebound, McAllister plays it out. Good save by Chesky, good positioning again. He's playing out of his goal, he's about five yards out of his goal there. Very quick to react to it. Here's a look at it. 
There he is on the five yard line. One hand pushed out and pushed away from where the Cosmos players are. So another question of anybody putting in the rebound. The Cosmos have it again and here comes Franz Beckenbauer for Canaria. One arm over England. He looks for the shot for the game. The great center back. England deflects it. They've got a corner kick and they'll have to take it quickly. As you see the, the second ticking by. Canaria will take it in the interest of time. Goes for Pelé. They have nobody in the middle but Bobby Smith. And Pelé's ridden off the ball. Well, see, the referee, remember, keeps the official time. But he blows the whistle. And that's the end of the first half. Listen to the ovation for the Sounders as they leave. Right now, here's Walt Chisowitz with Eddie Fermani. Walt. Get down. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The halftime, the first half is over. Coach, the both teams seem to play at an incredible pace. It's almost not human. What do you think? How do you see the second half? Well, I think that, uh, you know, the, the boys have gone at hammer and tong for, uh, for the whole 45 minutes. I don't think they can keep the pace up. I don't think they can. I saw them against L.A. and they blew up in the second half, and I'm hoping the same thing's going to happen this half. Okay, Coach, I hope you're right. Thank you very much. Good okay. luck in the second half. Thank you. Walt. Take over, John. Okay, Walt, well, get out of the rain. It's pouring here. We'll be back with our halftime program. It's a 1-1 tie. This is NASL Championship Soccer. Friday night here in Portland, the NASL held its awards banquet. It was a big affair, a gala affair. It seemed like half the city of Portland turned out for it, and they certainly were not disappointed. The highlight of the evening was a special presentation to the great Pelé, and Commissioner Phil Woosdom performed the honors. He put his reputation on the line. He decided he wasn't going to continue anymore. He achieved everything there was to achieve. Everybody in the world knows who he is. He'd accomplished everything that had to be accomplished in the sport. He was the superstar of superstars. And what did he have to come to a league like us for? But deep down within this man, there's a missionary zeal which very few people have. Very few people can achieve the heights that he's achieved and yet maintain a humility which makes him such a great individual. And tonight, the North American Soccer League would like to pay tribute to Pelle, the man who gave us credibility. Also at the banquet Friday night, awards were given to the players considered by their peers the best at their positions in the North American Soccer League. Outstanding goalkeeper was won by Gordon Banks of Fort Lauderdale. Outstanding forward Steve David, Los Angeles. Outstanding midfielder George Best of Los Angeles. And the rookie of the year, Jimmy McAllister of the Seattle Sounders. Outstanding defender, Franz Beckenbauer of the Cosmos. And well, the big award of the evening also went to Franz, the most valuable player in the North American Soccer League. He won the 1977 Toyota MVP award. And let's go down to the field right now for the presentation of the Toyota Most Valuable Player Award made by Bill Miller, the regional manager of Toyota. Franz, congratulations on being named the North American Soccer League's Most Valuable Player of the Year. On behalf of Toyota and its national network of dealers, may I present you the keys to a new Celica lift bag. Congratulations again, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much, and I'm very happy to drive so beautiful car. Thank you. Thank Brian. you very much. All right, we'll be back with the second half kickoff of Soccer Ball 77 after these messages. Here we are at the field with Jimmy Gabriel, the coach of the Seattle Sounders. Jimmy, the game team has played fantastically in the first half. They've taken it to the Cosmos. How do you see the second half? Well, I see us doing the same thing second half. Uh, we'll take it to them again. We'll probably start to tire after 20 minutes of the second half. We may have to bring on a couple of substitutes to keep the pace up. But I think if we keep taking the game to the Cosmos like this, we'll end up eventual winners. We've got to be careful of them. They, when they break on us, they hit tremendous shots. And uh, our goalkeeper's been in super form, you know, to save some of the shots. Well, Jimmy, you've done a fantastic job with this team. You've taken them a long way. They deserve to be here. They're, they look fantastic in the first half. I hope you have the same second kind of the second half. Good luck to you in the second half, Jimmy. Thanks very much, Walt. Thank you. Thank you, Walt Chiswitz and Jimmy Gabriel. 1-1 one, one tie, and here's the, sh 
the first goal of the ball game, and it was just a mistake by Tony Chersky. Look at Tony, there comes Stevie Hunt. And that's a goal. Perhaps the biggest mistake Chersky's ever made right there. Then the Seattle Sounders with a picture play here. Great passing as Beckenbauer. Well, they double teamed him and he lost the ball to Mickey Kay. Then Tommy Ord. Jockey Scott. Now watch Ord, number 18. Goal. All right, the teams are on the field. The shots in the first half, again, indicative of the wild, wide open play. 16 shots for the Cosmos, 13 shots for the Sounders. And we had eight corner kicks for the Cosmos and two for the Sounders. And Seattle goalkeeper Chersky, eight saves and five for Messing. All pretty high figures for just a half a soccer ball. Well, we had plenty, but enough soccer to last us for the afternoon in the first half. Let's take a look and see whether this pace does in fact last. I'm, I'm betting it won't, but uh, anything can happen in a, in a championship game. One, one tie, the final 45 minutes of the final game of 1977. The final game the Pelé will play for the money. Ginalia, Pelé, look out. Just cleared by number five, England. But now Beckenbauer to Hunt. Here's the shot, and it shifts play. A lovely play by Pelé in the middle of that, which happened so quickly. Uh, no, no, not Pelé, Ginalia. Beg your pardon, George. He stepped over the ball. I mean, that looks like such a simple thing to do, but it really takes a player right out of the game. Here comes Here's the, the shot. shot. Well, Cosmos are missed by uh, inches a few times. Pelé missed earlier on a free kick. Well, we've had a lot of uh, missing by here. Uh, you know that story about uh, baseball being a game of inches? I always say that soccer is a game of feet if I didn't think it was too corny to say it. So we'll just say it is a game of inches. A <laughs> uh, game of feet. And you gotta oh, be it doesn't bear up. repeating, John, and just once is enough. <laughs> and you got to be heads up. All right, here comes Carlos Alberto for Kinalia. Now Beckenbauer. Vito Dimitrievich has come into the ball game at midfield, and Garbutt, I believe, is left. Of course, Garbutt, Garbutt after you, John. Well, Garbutt had been injured, so I guess they figured get the healthy man in. Yeah, he was one of the question marks this morning. So was this man with the ball, Smith, but he seems to be playing well. And, although he and gave the, the ball away right there. Error, yeah. Second time we've done that to a guy. Bottle to throw it in. Tell you, Walt Chizowicz is down there in his $500 suit and he's been getting rained on. People have been dropping beer and soda pop on him all day. Which part of that suit is the $500 part? <laughs> The tie. There's Vitor Dmitrievich. 5'10", 170, four goals and six assists in the regular season and the most popular Cosmo in the vote of the fans this year. Here come the Sounders, Jockey A Scott. lot of space in the middle again. If that ball had gone in quickly, Ord was wide open. Now Buttle, they've got Cave and Ord in there, but Dmitrievich knocks it loose. Buttle back to get it. Still looking for room. Out it goes to Scott. Back for Buttle, but he wasn't moving in the play. Over the end line it will go, and the Cosmos will have a goal kick here early in the second half. It's a 1-1 ball game. This is it. Soccer ball 77, and we've got, well, we've already got, I would say, the greatest half they've ever had in a championship game, all things considered, with the, the crowd here so vocal and alive. And the Cosmos really up against it here, uh, 3,000 miles from home, playing in the Pacific Northwest, and... The folks of Seattle have adopted, or from Portland have adopted this Seattle club, and there are about 10, 12,000 people from Seattle here. Stevie Hunt with a throw in for Kinalia. Back for Hunt. He's open in the corner. A play in the middle with Tony Field. Oh, just knocked loose. Gillett will bring it out. That's an example there of what I was talking about earlier. Mike England bent very low to head that ball. Field had his foot up. If the foul had been called, oddly enough, it would have been called on Mike England for getting his head down where his feet should be. Mel Machen, long ball, but Beckenbauer's there to intercept. That's the danger of those long, high passes. Now Stevie Hunt, oh, Gillen takes a swipe at him there. No, no reason for that. Hunt, it's so difficult to get off the ball. It's just frustration on Gillen's part. I think he's, he's barging and um, sort of pushing him, not illegally, but Hunt just won't be moved. Moraes goes into the box. The weak side, Palai, but McAllister is there. Out of Dmitrievich. In traffic for Palai. Back to Vito. Vito back to Palai, inside. Here's Tony Field, it's over his head, and Machen will swing it back to the goal. Cool bit of play by Machen heading back there in, in traffic. He knew exactly what he was doing. Very calm piece of play. Look out, look out. Machen saves it in, just barely. Remember, the man can go out as long as the ball stays in. The Sounders have won seven in a row, and they won 17 of their last 23. 
They've only allowed four goals in their last seven games. The Cosmos have scored almost four a game over nine games. An incredible, astonishing statistic. You see, a, a, maybe a, a straw in the wind there. Um, a good movement started by Robertson. Ball pushed inside, but no sound of player running to get it. That may be a sign that the pace is slackening down. Now look out for Canalia. He's on the weak side, but he can't catch up to it. Machen's on him. He's got Hutt moving inside. Canalia looking for an opening. Still looking. He'll leave it for Pelé. Pelé back for Canalia. Back heels it to himself. Look out. will kill it right there. Centering pass. And Christie falls on it. Nice artistic bit of play by Canalia there. Here's a look at it. He comes. Uh, he's being barged off the ball. He still gets his center in. But of course from that angle, you've got to be very lucky to get it past the goalkeeper. Here come the Sounders now. The attack has been a bit slow in coming here at the start of the second half after five minutes. Steve Buttle, number 15. In the middle, here's Adrian Webster pushing up for one of the few times. On top of shot by Ors. Over the end line and a goal kick for the Cosmos from Portland. This is NASL Championship Soccer. Here come the Sounders on the attack. 1-1 one, one, tie. We have 38-20 left in the match. Inside, here comes Tommy Ord. But Werner Roth clears. Now Pelé coming back. Gets to the Beckenbauer. Primes has a lot of room. For Canalia. Oh, nice move in England. Come to Rangers. Speed right out from under him. England protesting that uh, it was certainly unintentional. Here's a look at it. As Pelé moves one way, Canali moves one way, there comes the foot that's supposed to be getting the ball and it gets Canali's legs instead. Second bower to Canalia. Canalia moving in, goes around one. Through the legs of Scott to Pelé. Circus pass. Now Beckenbauer for Pelé. He's looking for an opening. He's around the man. A shot, but he misses the man. A lot of people clutching their heads after that. Pelé, because he missed Beckenbauer, because he thought he should have had a pass from Pelé, and Chersky because it went over. From Portland, this is NASL Championship Soccer. Here come the Cosmos, Tony Field moving in, but McAllister with a comeback tackle. Here's Walt Chiswick, down on the field. Walt? Okay, here I am with Terry Garbett. He played the first half, he's had a bit of a groin pull, and now he's on the side watching. Terry, what do you think of the game, and the, how did you feel in the first half? Very quick play, end-to-end uh, -end stuff. There wasn't much uh, midfield play. We seemed to be all up to their end and all up our end. I thought personally it's a great cup final so far. Um, I think Seattle are playing very, very well. In fact, I thought they were the best side we played this year when we played them in the Kingdom. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Terry. Take it up, John. Thank you, Walt. Thank you, Terry Garbutt. Here comes Seattle. Jockey Scott goes around Smith. Here's the shot, and Messing dies and doesn't give it up. Tommy Ord following in, looking for the garbage. But Shep wouldn't give it to him. Yes, Shep down to his left very quickly. Gets the ball, pulls it right into his chest, exactly what a goalkeeper should do. Tommy Ord standing right over him, waiting for a bubble, but uh, he didn't get it. Well, Mel Major with a good hustle, and they've got it back again. Look out, here's Robertson. Alberto right there and takes it away from him. You know, there's nobody probably around the country except the folks in Seattle and 10 or 12,000 folks here from Seattle who expect the Sounders to win this game, and here they are, it's anybody's ball game. That's uh, a legal tackle by McAllister. Good sliding tackle by McAllister. Took the ball and took Dmitrievich with it. Here he comes, right leg, pushing the ball away, getting Dmitrievich after he's played the ball, so it's legal. 
Ball will be thrown in by the Cosmos. Well, he certainly had a good year on TBS. Eddie Einhorn and the TBS people took a chance with soccer, and they're glad they did. Here comes Steve Hunt. He drives with a shot from 22. And but it's deflected. But it's a corner, and it is a corner kick. Yeah. Deflected by the Sounders. Well, we hope that you've enjoyed our coverage of NASL soccer, and we'll be back with more next year. So keep watching for us, and tell the stations in your area that you appreciated the soccer. I'll be glad to know. Corner kick, Tony Field. He'll loft it. Here goes Werner Roth. It comes back on the weak side to Moraes. Outside to Bobby Smith. Cosmos pushing everybody up but one man, Alberto. Beckenbauer fires from outside, but it slices off wide. Goal kick for the Seattle Sounders. 33 minutes and 50 seconds left in the match. Tony Chersky will... Chersky's been hurting a little bit, uh, his foot or his leg or something. Coach of the Canadian national team didn't want him playing here. A rather spectacular foul by Werner Roth on Tommy Ward there. He just flattened him and gave the sound as a free kick at midfield. Well, a goal for either club here, who knows, in a championship game. Could be it. The longer we go, the more certainty there would be that it would be it. This is a Cosmos goal kick. It has to come outside the penalty area before it's in play. That's why Alberto was waiting for it. Now Moraes, a long one, but he just well, kicks it out of bounds. That's not going to be the best pass he ever made. There was no, no excuse for that at all because he wasn't under pressure from uh, a sound of player at all. We've got 33 minutes left in the match. We've played 12 minutes of the second half. It's a 1-1 tie. Both clubs trying to get that tie-breaking goal. Here's Tommy Ord. Roth is on him. Well, Werner's going after Ord right now. Wherever Ord goes, there goes Werner. Roth played in the Cosmos Championship Club in 1972. And Johnny Kerr, veteran, just resigned from the Washington Diplomats, got the winner in that game. Here's Seattle ball on the throw in. Mickey Cave, their leading scorer, their leading clutch scorer, five game winners. I'm not sure. Did Johnny Kerr get the winner? I think uh, I think a player called Jelinek got the winner from a penalty kick in that, in that game, John. Johnny Kerr told me it was him. <laughs> <laughs> How does he spell his name again? <laughs> All right, here's Jockey Scott in the corner. Mel Mason pushing up, overlapping. The crossing pass for Tommy Ord, but Chef comes. Ten yards out of the net to take it away. Ord stays right with him and bumps him, but they don't call anything. Boy. I, they have to call something on that, and they didn't. Here's McAllister, back for Tommy Orr, but Roth knocks it down to Beckenbauer. Well, I think the referee would say that, um, that Chet Messing ran into Tommy Ord as much as Ord ran into him. Here's Buttle with a steal. Now Mickey Cave, but Cave missed, kicks the ball. Uh, and a goal kick coming up for the Cosmos from Portland. This is NASL Championship Soccer. Here comes Falai moving in on Mike England. And they say England made a good tackle that time. Hit the ball first as Falai went for a somersault. The Sounders in a counter attack. Here comes Jackie Scott, but it's knocked away from him. As you look at Falai. Here's a look at Falai's last run. He's already beaten two players by this point. And there is where Falai actually pushes the ball under England. Back to live action, Tommy Ord with a header wide of the net and did Messing go over the line? I think, I think the ball was over the line. No, he yeah. did. They say he did or he didn't. They say the ball went over. Well, I don't know. They say a foul. Is that a foul? Well, it might have been a foul after the uh, after the incident of the ball being out, but theoretically once the ball's out, the players go. Well, I don't know. The only way they could have given him a goal kick is if Shep had gotten it after it went over the end line and it seemed to me that he was inbound. Cosmos still out shooting the Sounders. Now, here come the Cosmos. Moraes inside. Look out! Right across the face! You know, that always surprises me how many times that can happen. Very fast ball across the face of the area. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Ten people in an area and it goes right through everybody. Well, I think and now you feel that all went within probably a foot of each one of them. Now, here comes Adrian Webster. He Now, Roth comes up hobbling here as he and Webster collided. Well, that's interesting because Roth already has a heavily bandaged knee there. His left knee uh, was injured. Here comes Beckenbauer looking for some space. 
He's got Kinalia and Field in front of him. He looks for the shot, deflected by Machen. They wouldn't let him have the opening. That airtight Seattle defense, and here comes Buttle. He's got room. He's got Cave in the right or in the left. And he held it too long, and Dmitrievich took it away. Example again of Dmitrievich with these sort of elastic legs of his. He sticks them out, and he seems to get a piece of the ball every time. Now Stevie Hunt goes to work against Mel Machen. Takes him to the middle of the field. Inside for Pelé, and he loses it. Adrian Webster right in the back of Pelé. And McAllister will just clear it. Take the pressure off. And Smith will ride it into Messing. And Mickey Cave leaves the calling card. So the Cosmos will start it up again. 28 minutes and 5 seconds left to the match. 1-1 tie. The championship of North America on the line. East meets West. The Cosmos and Seattle. Pelé. Oh, nice move. He looks for an opening. He's still going inside. Back to Pelé. And McCallum, or Machen is the man who finally takes it away. Uh, and they Machen. call a foul. Machen being barged off the ball by Field. Machen is so cool back there. He took that away from Pelé beautifully. Here comes Pelé surging into the area here. Leaping over the ball. Getting past one man. McAllister. And then Machen comes across just to take the ball away. Puts his body between the ball and Pelé. And is later fouled by Field. Nicely done there to get it that far by Pelé and then the return from field. But again, Machen with the nice play to stop the momentum. Werner Roth is on the back of Tommy Ord. It goes out of bounds and they're going to give it. They're going to give it to the Cosmo. Well, that's, that's uh, I mean, the crowd don't like that, as you can tell, but it's not unreasonable because Ord did, in fact, back into Roth. Beckenbauer. To Raw, now Pelé on the open wing. Dmitrievich, a lot of room to run. Kanaya, field in front, goes for Tony Field. Ball knocked loose by Gillett, but nobody trailing the play for the Cosmos. Sounders trying to get the offense going. Dmitrievich is there to knock it loose. Beck Beckenbauer can't get by Jackie Scott. He comes back to take it away. And a foul on Beckenbauer. He's going to get a call and a yellow card. No, he doesn't like that at all. Well, it was a tackle from behind again, and referees are usually pretty strict on these. He did get a piece of Scott, and uh, he didn't get the ball cleanly. The referee will adjudge that as a foul, and uh, it, it warrants the yellow card. Uh, calling it what, a dangerous play? Yeah, a dangerous play, or a rough play, if you like. Well, we've seen a lot of rough play without yellow cards. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true, but I guess... Look out, here's Canaria! He's grabbed by England! England grabbed him! Now, yeah, let's see the yellow card. Get a yellow card for that. If you give one to Beckenbauer, you got to give one to England. Uh, let's take a look at it, because England, the intentional foul, England was try, Trying to pass the ball, and of course he gives it to Canaria, bounces back. Canaria is past him. And there we, we did nearly see, anyway, England grabbing Canaria. Well, Canaria is injured right now. we got a break in the action from Portland NASL Championship Soccer. Here are the Cosmos, John Miller, Paul Gardner, Soccer Bowl 77, Steve Hunt, crossing ball for Canalia, but Gillett knocks it down. We've got 25 and a half minutes left in the match. Canalia's back to action here after the break of the action. The trainer took a look at him and said he's all right. It's interesting that Seattle have not made their substitution to Jimmy Gabriel was talking about, so presumably he's satisfied with, with the pace of his game so far, and he has two very good fresh substitutes to bring on when he needs them. Butler and uh, Jenkins. If you're wondering, the clearly intentional foul by England was not penalized. A shot by McAllister! And Messing covers up the short rebound. Lovely shot by McAllister and some good moves before he took the shot. He really worked his way into an open position well. Gets past his full West, Dmitrievich. There's the shot and again a difficult one for Shep. Bouncing right in front of him. Take him well. Here comes Beckenbauer. Now Kenali is open. He looks for the opening. He feeds it off to Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer back to Pelé. Here's a shot. Oh, just over the bar. Tried to put the open spin in that one. Yeah, we're trying to loop it over his head. But again, we've got, uh, I think I counted six Seattle defenders back there very quickly. And that's why you're seeing so many of these Cosmos shots blocked. They're not even getting to Chersky. They're being uh, intercepted by these uh, rather large Seattle defenders. The crowd today here in Portland will bring the total playoff attendance for 17 playoff games to one half million and the total to see NASL soccer this year in this country and Canada 3.7 million Beckenbauer has the ball knocked loose the average of the playoffs obviously better than 29,000 a game here come the Sounders Mickey Kane he's their big scorer 
He's got Owen inside, one-on-one -on -one with Werner Raw. Now, Jockey Scott, here's the cross, but knocked down by Carlos Alberto, just when you think you have him beat. Back to midfield. Here comes Stevie Hunt. People were shoving each other all over the place. No foul. Hunt for the ball. Canalia Pelé in the middle. Goes into the penalty area. Tony Field centers it in front for Canalia. Goes behind him. McAllister takes it out of the box and he's stripped by Dimitri well, That will not be very popular with this crowd. McAllister is, is really the darling of the Seattle fans. And he's given Dimitri Evich a yellow. How many yellows have we had, John? That's the third one. There's McAllister trying to run the ball out. Dimitri Evich stepping out. That was a nasty foul. I think that warrants a yellow card. Sort of got his knee into McAllister's groin. So a free kick for the Seattle Sounders. The yellow card is a caution. The man's name is written down. If he should do it again, he would face ejection from the ball game. So now Tommy Ord of Seattle and Beckenbauer and Dimitri Avich of the Cosmos all are under a yellow card caution. Now McAllister overlapping from the left wing. Seattle pushing up with 23 minutes left in the match. 1-1 one, one tie. Now Jockey Scott has some room. He's got two men in the box. Feeds it off on the sideline. Buttle, he's wide open. Here it comes. Mickey Cave and Beckenbauer clears. The Cosmos with a lot of room. Here comes Pelé. He's got Canelli in front. Quick pass for Tony Field. Field starts into the danger zone to Canelli. Canelli has Pelé in the middle and Field on the left side. Giorgio with the veteran England. Two big veteran players. Now wide open is Hunt, but he can't get to the ball. Well, it was a nice try that time, but Hunt couldn't quite well, the get it. The attention was perfect. Canalia saw it. Good vision. His head up. He saw the space. He saw Hunt running. The pass wasn't quite what he would have wanted it to be. Hunt had to go back for it. Cosmo still in the danger zone. Penalty area. Tony Field. Field jockeying with Mike England on him, looking for an opening, and England knocks it loose. Now Field again with Buttle on him. Inside for Dmitry Avich. He tries to center it. It's blocked by Tommy Ord. Corner kick. If the game should end in a tie, we'll go to sudden death overtime. Now time is stopped here. And a substitution for the Seattle Sounders. Dave leaves the ball game. And Jenkins comes in in a standing ovation for Mickey Cave, who had a great year. That's his Butler, not Jenkins. Dave Butler. And Butler, the leading scorer in Sounders history. He comes on and promptly takes up a defensive position in front of the goal here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Everybody from Seattle is in the penalty area. Everybody. Here comes Fields' ball. Shot by Roth. Kicks it ten miles into well, the crowd. He hit, he hit the scoreboard with that, but I mean, that, <laughs> that was a very dangerous situation there. He got his foot on it and he got a good volley off. From Portland, this is NASL Championship Soccer. John Miller, Paul Gardner with Walt Chiswitz, the Cosmos won, the Sounders won. Here we go, 20 minutes, 30 seconds left in the match. You have to feel whoever gets a goal could win it right now. This crowd is shouting Sounders, but the Cosmos have the ball. Bobby Smith moving in, shoves it in front, intercepted by Webster. Look out, here comes Pelé and Webster. All of a sudden, he realized what the devil am I doing? I think Webster had a sudden rush of blood to the head. Then he trapped the ball well. He turned around and then uh, he sort of didn't know what to do with it. Did Short. the safe thing, pushed it for a corner. Short corner kick for Palai. Inside for the dangerous Stevie Hunt. Hunt, 12th leading scorer in the league during the season. Crossing pass for Kinalia, headed away by Gillick. Comes out of the box. The Sounders is strictly in the defensive posture now, as Gardner, Paul Gardner said, 11 men in that penalty area. Doing those corner kicks. Now Field, loose on the right side momentarily. Tries to go around Butler. He does, but he's oh, tricked by Butler. Free kick, no doubt. The referee says no, or does he? He yeah, says, go kick Seattle, let it go. Yes, he does say no. That I don't understand. Field is, in fact, Field is getting up now, shaking his head. He can't understand it either. Look out. Here come the Sounders. The Cosmos are not back. They've got Owen in front of the goal, wide open. But Robertson loses to Carlos Alberto. And again, the former World Cup captain saves the day for the Cosmos. Lovely tackle by Carlos Alberto, but Robertson won't forgive himself for delaying his cross. Ord was wide open on the first side. Now, here comes Canalia. Look out, but they double-teamed him. Boy, in a spot like that, Canalia's deadly. That's got exactly the sort of thing he likes, running onto a through ball and being able to hit it first time. He never got his foot on that one, though. The defenders were too quick for him. Mel Machen starts it up for the Sounders. So we go end-to-end -end again. 
18-40 left in the match. 1-1 tie. This is it. Pelé's last chance for an NASL championship. Here comes Tommy Owen. He's ridden off the play by Werner Ross. And again, the referee says, play on. I think that was legal. I think, I think Ord hit that ball with his shoulder. He couldn't get his head on it, but Roth was doing a good job keeping him away from the ball there. It's a good bit of play by Werner. Now, here come the Cosmos as we go from one end to the other. Kinalia, bit of trouble with the foot trap, but gets it to Vito. Dmitrievich, second half substitute for Franz Beckenbauer, another World Cup captain. But the pass goes to Ryan. Mike England, does he give it away? No, they saved it in. England with a rather lackadaisical clear to his goalkeeper that time almost gave away a corner kick. Well, one would like to be able to say at this stage oh, the Cosmos are getting on top or Seattle are getting on top. But I think at no point in the game has it been possible to say that. But as fast as you think this is happening, the other team probably takes over. It's a very, very even game. Here comes Steve Buttle, number 15. Moving in for the Sounders. Now Gillick coming up from the back. Centering pass in front. Roth clears. High in the air. Gillick gets it back. Alberto is on him. Gillett drops it outside for Buttle. Now Beckenbauer on him. They've got Butler, Ord, and Scott jockeying in the penalty area. But Beckenbauer clears over the sideline. Throw in Seattle. 17 minutes and 15 seconds left to the match. Gillett just barely saves it in. Pressure from Hunt, but he goes around and twice. Now here's Tommy Ord, and Messing grabs it. Lovely work by Gillett out there. That's, uh, that's surprising for a fullback, never alone a center fullback. It was supposed to be big, large, and... Uh... Oh, Tony Fields around McAllister. He's got Canelli in front, but McAllister's back in the play. Field now, knocked over by Webster. Still no whistle. He's knocked over again. Now we have a whistle. Well, now he and Webster start to get into it. Canelli jumps Webster away. Webster after Canelli. I think Webster is going to get at least a talking to on that. It was totally unnecessary what he did to Tony Field there. Field was down. And Webster came up and tried to kick the ball away, even though Field was down on the ground. Now Canelli being shouted at by Webster starts to walk after him. Here's how it happened. happened. McAllister tackling Field. Field goes down, falls over, tries to get the ball. Now here's Webster going in. Oh, in fact, no, I... <laughs> that was a knee. It wasn't even a kick. And they call the foul in the Cosmos. Inexplicable. They never... Inexplicable. Well, I tell you, Charles may have had better days than he's having right now. That's hard to believe. Now, here comes Palais. He's like, here comes McAllister. He took it away. Palais waving his hands in acknowledgement of that. A wonderful piece of play by McAllister. He gets back so quickly. He really is terrifically fast, not only over a certain yard, but in, in seeing the situation and, and coping with it. When is it going to be broken? It's still 1-1 from Portland. 16-10 left in the match. Mel Machen moves it in. Drops it for Webster. Webster starts it into the danger zone. Buttle, look out, looking for the shot, but we're off with a sure-footed tackle. Palai after it, but Jackie Scott saves for the Sounders. Again on top, Buttle, kill it, shot, go oh. save! Oh. Oh. Right by a marvel save by Chef Messing. That was all at 25 yards, that shot. First time, beautifully taken. Here's the look at it. There's the pass that goes in, it's given back to him. No hesitation on the run, right foot, a real thumping shot. Beautifully saved by Messing. Now we have a corner kick for the... Wait a minute. We have a yellow card for Carlos Alberto, apparently. Carlos Alberto gets the yellow card. Well, the Roth will be getting one, too, if he's not careful. I think the Cosmos are still a bit upset over that really rather, to put it charitably, strange call of Cabritians in midfield here. Here's the corner by Robertson, high into the air. Look out! Messing is being blocked off by his own man. Now Scott in front, but he loses it over the end line. Now Messing complaining again. Complaining again about all the physical activity that Cambriciat has closed his eyes to. Giving him another corner kick again. The Cosmos are under a lot of pressure right now. Robertson, high ball. Here's Ord in front for Scott. The headers save, rebound. He covers up again. Holy cow. Now the Cosmos will start the counterattack. Here's a look, look at that, that corner block. again. There's Ord heading it back there. And there's Scott coming in. A good header saved at the second attempt by Messing. A lot of protection from Roth and Carlos Alberto there. And he needs it too in a situation like that. The Cosmos, the high price superstars. And the palace gates were being stormed by the Sounders. 
but they managed to keep them shot. The crowd with a tremendous roar here as the Cosmos, against the blow, try to get it going. But Stevie Hunt loses. Here they come again. Dave Butler in the middle. Ford in the left. Butler drives a shot. Save again. And Messing becomes the man of the hour. He's the man with a key to the doors, and they won't relinquish him. Take a look at that shot. Messing going low to his right again, and again, not holding the ball, but not letting it rebound too fast. Stevie Hunt is done. He's only just got up in midfield from that tackle by Tommy Ward a couple of minutes ago. So hold on to your hat. 14 minutes left in the match. Here goes Hunt. Here goes Field. A shot. Was it a shot, or was it a clear? It was a clear. I think McAllister again got the ball. He hurt himself on that one. He took a shot from the, well, the stomach area, I suppose. Corner kick for the Cosmos as you look at Tony Field. There's the ball coming through and here comes McCarthy and here comes Field. McCarthy just gets it away and Field really thumps into him after that. But uh, well, McCarthy is, he's still on the ground there. His teammates know we have the trainer on now. From Portland, this is NASL Championship Soccer. Cosmos corner kick, Jimmy McAllister is back up, it's cleared out of bounds for the Sounders, and here we go. Four yellow cards in this game, three to the Cosmos. And the ball taken away, quickly, look out, here comes Tommy Ord. A ah, mistake by Carlos Alberto, he is human after all. Of course it doesn't matter because uh, Tommy Ord wasn't running after it, but that's the first time we've seen Carlos Alberto look off balance in this whole game. Now here comes Tony Field with McAllister. Back to Pelé, back to Tony Field, a give and go. He moves, he's bumped. Now he's tripped. He crosses. Nobody there. Now here comes Moraes trying to center it. Machen deflects, it's out of bounds. Throw in for the Cosmos in the left wing corners. They keep the pressure on. Into Stevie Hunt. Hunt with Machen, he's got to beat him to get the ball in front. Here's the opening. For Kinalia, header, he scores! with the header his ninth goal in six playoff games a very neat goal it's a lovely little cross by hunt and it finds canalia he really doesn't have to put any power on this because he's in the right position chersky no chance to throw for that lovely goal here's another we'll look at chasing the ball he chases it out there and in fact it's from this throw-in the ball comes back to Hunt. He's taking it round Machen, curls it in with his left foot. Canalia, beautifully placed header. Wonderful goal. So now the Sounders will have to throw a caution to the win. It's do or die. They have to score. And they have 12 minutes and 25 seconds to do it. And again, could leave themselves exposed to more Cosmos goals because they can't be careful yeah, in situations like this you're going to see some sort of desperation tackles uh, in the seattle defense as the cosmos break through on counter attacks well I, I would think most of the pressure coming from seattle now two to one cosmos they call a foul i believe on hunt no they just said hunt yeah they called the foul all right sometimes it's difficult to tell with the signals that cabrician is giving he's invented a new set of them i think here today Inside, here's Gillett, over his head. Cleared by Bobby Smith, it comes to Canalia, here comes the attack. Pelé with the ball, Buttle on his back. Pops loose. Cleared by Buttle, but goes to Canalia. Now Pelé, they've got him outnumbered in a four on three. Tony Field will have to chase it. He'll have to beat Buttle or Webster in the corner. Here it comes for Canalia, over his head. He'll have to chase it. Comes out, Machen comes out with him. Two to one, Cosmos. Inside it goes, nobody there. Beckenbauer tells the referee, you screen me off the ball. Seattle must be feeling a little disappointed at the moment because they, they were having the better of the play up to that point and they had all those chances down here with Messing making some good saves and then suddenly the whole thing is turned around and soccer being a game which can be decided on one goal, that could be the game right there. Here's Walt Chiswick down in the field with Ron Newman, the coach of the year in the NASL. Walt? Here I am with Ron Newman next to me, and Ron, the coach of the year for Fort Lauderdale Strikers. Ron, what do you think now? The Cosmos are ahead. What will happen now? Well, it's a, it's a, it's a tremendous game, Walt, and uh, Seattle is certainly not out of it. And uh, there's some great players out here today, but we've 
what, where we're coming from is that the, the young Americans are playing so well. Is anybody playing out there better than McAllister or both goalkeepers, all the Americans, Rock playing brilliant. I think this is encouraging. Great, Ron. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you all. And again, congratulations to Ron Newman and a tremendous job in Fort Lauderdale. Here comes Buttle. The Sounders trying to tie it up. Remember Minnesota two weeks ago. They're down one nothing with about five minutes to go, and they won that game in overtime. So with Ord and Butler up front with Robertson, they've got the firepower to come back here. You see the shots now. Shep Messing has made 11 saves in this ball game, and for Shep, six of those in the second half. He's been under siege a few times. Well, now John Davies, the linesman from San Mateo, says you got to go back here to throw it in. The Cosmos will be more cautious from now on, trying to make the seconds tick off. Ten minutes coming up on the scoreboard clock. Unofficial, the referee keeps the official time on the field. They generally agree. This is Jenkins, uh, John, just come on the field with the second substitute for Seattle. Fresh body, plenty of running in him now. John Jenkins, veteran midfielder, number six. Now the Cosmos have it. Here comes Beckenbauer, as you see Jenkins, the new man in the field. On the open wing, the right side, Tony Field, the youngster McAllister, the rookie of the year from Seattle, picks him up. Field goes around him. He's looking for the opening. Now he's got it. He's wide open for Pelé. He's bumped off the play by Machen, but I think oh, Pelé I think. made that happen. I think Pelé bumped into Machen. From Portland, this is NASL Championship Soccer. For you fans in New York, the Cosmos will be arriving at John F. Kennedy Airport aboard a special American Airlines charter. The team is scheduled to arrive at 6.10 tomorrow night. They'll be leaving here tomorrow and arrive in New York at JFK at 6.10. And the Cosmos are expecting a few fans out there, I suppose. The Sounders will arrive in Seattle tonight at the SeaTac Airport at 10.30 on Continental Flight 430. 10.30, Continental 430. So, last chance in 1977 to tell these fellows that you appreciate them in New York, New Jersey, and up there in Seattle, Tacoma. Oh, look at this. Tom Jenkins. Knocked away by Moraes. Jenkins. Back inside. From Mason. But again, Moraes there. Two times, Nelsie. Wouldn't allow them to go by. Now, Stevie Hunt. He's getting himself into some trouble here. And he runs over the end line. No, he did not. He's still in trouble. Unbelievable shot. It's Stevie Hunt almost gave it away. Eddie Fermani is off the bench there. I imagine his heart must have been in the mouth. Hunt trying to do a dribble as though he were attacking the goal, not defending it, and he very nearly gave it away. I think Shep might have got a hand on it to save that goal. Now here comes Tony Field. He's around a man. He goes to... Hunt or Kinell, you think, to say, well, you take it. No, you take it. Now, let me try it. goes after it. Knocks it away from Jackie Scott. 6.45 left in soccer ball, 77. Here comes Beckenbauer to Pella into the danger zone. Now, here's Field. He's got an opening. Back out for Beckenbauer. He looks for it now. Drops to Hunt. Here's a drive and a shot. Knocked down. The rebound cleared by England. Now, Werner Roth. Can't beat Butler to the ball. Here come the Sounders. They've got a four-round three. Pass off on the left side for Tommy Orr. Orr moving in against Alberto. Got open a shot, but it misses wide. Goal kick Cosmos. Unbelievable. The Cosmos could get caught so short yeah, that, that time. That shot, but I thought it was well wide. And again, Jenkins standing on the far side of the area in a much better position to take a shot. Very disappointed he didn't get the ball. Six minutes and four seconds and don't go anywhere. The Sounders have now come within inches of tying it up twice here in the last couple of minutes. Well, certainly that last shot or the one before the last one that hit the post could not have been any closer. We have Werner Roth down on the field holding his left knee, which I think is a bad sign because there was some doubt whether he was going to start this game because his knee was injured before. And uh, if he's re-injured, I would think they'd have to take him out. The risk to leaving in there, particularly at this stage of the game when the defense is going to be under pressure. Now, Fermani's calling over Giorgio Chinaglia to have a chat with him. And now Roth well, is Roth up. Has decided that he can carry on. No team has ever won more than one championship in the NASL. Ten times, ten champions. And the Cosmos would be the first to repeat if they can hold off for another six minutes 
and four seconds. And it's the Sounders yeah. have never won it. Well, they would keep the record going if they won it. Yeah. Well, Werner Roth is up, and he is the, well, the only man in the field who's ever been on a championship team in this league, 1972. Although Alberto right there, and Beckenbauer, and Pelé, and Kinal, you've been on a few championships. So, the clock has been stopped, and it'll start it again, and here we go with the final six minutes and four seconds. Again, Pelé's final game, and the Cosmos trying to win it for him. A fitting tribute, the final money game he'll ever play. The only championship that has eluded him. And the Sounders, who have tremendous fans in Seattle, that's always been a good franchise. One of the key franchises that started the revolution in America. And they'd love to give it to their fans, whom they consider some of the greatest in America. Now Mike England. Ahead, the Cosmos dropping back. Here's Webster to Scott. Now Tommy Ord. Ord has scored their goal today as they trail 2-1. to one. Jenkins saves it in with a chest trap. Moraes picks him up. Moraes knocks it loose. Moraes trips him. Foul call. Things are getting a little bit hectic out there. The linesman running in to keep... Who is that out there? That's not Jenkins, is it? It's that battle to keep him away from uh, Moraes. Now Moraes is up and lifting, as you see. Free kick for the Sounders in a dangerous spot in the field. They scored against Los Angeles to win it on a similar play Thursday. Here's Gillett, headed by Beckenbauer. Ord, he missed kicks the shot by England! Inches wide again, John. Unbelievable. How much poor luck can the Sounders have? Goal kick Cosmos. And they're throwing things at Carlos Alberto. The fans are throwing soda and beer. Where is the shot? Oh, my. <laughs> Six inches. They have hit the post, and now by inches, Messing made a couple of dazzling saves earlier. The Sounders are doing all they can. Well, Carlos Alberto, while we looked at the replay, was being showered with debris from the stands, and he picked the ball up and threw it at somebody. Fans, perhaps a bit frustrated, misbehaving. We have 425 left in soccer ball, 77. Pelé starts it with the interception. Kinalia, Pelé, and Gillen is right there. Kinalia goes after the ball. Gillen falls over. They, here comes Pelé. He drives a shot. He it's a wicked corner kick, Cosmos. Or is it? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They've thrown Just the ball kick. out. I don't know what's happening Kinalia's here. Kinalia's passed to Pelé. England taken right out of the game. A right for Trump to Pelé. But lifted about two feet over the box. Hey, Cabrician is giving the totally mystifying signals that look like he pointed to the corner for a corner kick. It was a goal kick. Now, Jockey Scott, the Sounders, trying to get the equalizer. Knocked away by Hunt, cleared by Werner Roth. The crowd, a constant roar here in Portland. 3.35 to go. Inside for Scott, cleared by Roth. Now to Kinalia. Kinalia to start it up for the Cosmos. Lovely stuff by Kinalia there. Almost bull juggling like we saw from the Pepsi Cola kids. Coca Cola kids. Now, Kinalia. He's got Hunt in the middle with Pelé. Here's the cross, but he misses over the net, over the end line. Goal kick, Seattle. With 3.10 to go. 3.10 to go. I think, John, we're seeing what what in fact we predicted we'd see this is nearly all Seattle pressure now but these, these sudden fast breaks that the Cosmos put on with the Seattle players upfield look extremely dangerous 2.45 left in soccer ball 77 the Sounders in white trailing by a goal desperately trying to equalize Tommy Orr knocked loose taken away by Werner Roth the captain of the Cosmos play getting a bit rough out here Canalia now for Tony Field, into the danger zone, he creeps. McAllister is on him. Starts to juke, they've had a few good duels today. Field takes him to the outside. He looks for a foul, he asks for a foul, they say no. Remember, after the ball game, the Professional Soccer Reporters Association will select the Copenhagen Skull Player of the Game to receive a $1,500 award. We'll announce that for you before we go off the air. Two minutes left in the match. Two minutes left in the match. Into the danger zone. Scott for Tommy Ord. Machen saves it on the sideline. 
They're pushing forward here. Buttle in the right wing. Cross is deflected by Alberto. Dmitrievich out of the penalty area. But he loses. And the Sounders will start it all over again. England. But Jackie Scott goes for the header over his head. Beckenbauer clears. Now a minute 45 left in the match, as you see, in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. Cosmos lead 2-1, a late goal by Keen Elliott. That's the difference. Now Tony Field against McAllister for Pelé. Pelé, oh, he held it too long and Buttle blindsided him. Pelé goes after it. He trips Webster and they let it go. Beckenbauer for Kinelli. Oh, he let it go, but it's nicely knocked away. Now Field, front drives in, but Machen is there. Now we have a minute 10 to go. And the fans, 35,000 strong, are on their feet in Seattle, roaring for the Sounders. Buttle, Chalky Scott, tries to knock it out for Ord. He'll have to chase it. Hunt beats him to it and takes it away. Now Werner Roth. The Cosmos counterattack. The Sounders only have three fullbacks back. Pelé. Field is wide open. He moves in. The Callister there. A shot hits the side of the net. Goal kick Seattle. And with the clock continuing to run, they'll quickly take it as you look at Steve Hunt, who has been chosen as the Copenhagen School Player of the Game by members of the Professional Soccer Reporters Association. And Stevie Hunt will receive a $1,500 check from the United States Tobacco Company. So congratulations to Stevie Hunt. He scored one, he assisted on the other. Intercepted by Canalia. 25 seconds to go. That may be it. Here comes Canalia, danger zone. He drives in and England knocks it away. Now Tony Field. Field, outside it goes to Dmitrievich. It looks like the Cosmos have wrapped it up. They'll play keep away a bit. Here comes Moraes. Moraes looks for the shot. Goal kick, but I think that may do it. I think that may be a corner kick, in fact. The whistle blows. The ball, is it over? It is over. The Cosmos. The Cosmos are the champions of North America. The first team ever. And Palais, finally, in his third year with the Cosmos, has won it. John Miller, Paul Gardner, Walt Chisowitz. We'll see you in 1978. Cosmos 2, Sounders 1. So long from Portland.